Hello and welcome back to the Nor- Well, I almost said Norse Inquisition. Horde yeah, in America. Happens. I am Hey Abbott, and I'm joined by Klaus. Say hello. Hello. And then we have uh, Deadlock here as well. Indeed. And uh, this is episode 24, and we are going now. <laughs> Actually, we went just then. How am I only getting 15 here? I'm right. It's in my territory. Oh, at oh, the force limit. Minus 10. Minus 10. That sucks. Yeah, don't you love that junk? It's fantastic. I wish I could go and deforest it. Shimu. Just get rid of all of the trees and stuff. Be like, tropical. Ha ha ha. You oh, the flower wars. Um, ah, I th no. War of the wait. War of the roses is the is the English one, right? Yeah, I don't know if that. I don't roses. think that's the same thing as the flower wars. <laughs> oh, it is war of the roses. Okay, yeah, it's when um, basically two royal families in England fought each other, like the Lancasters and um, you know the other people. Yeah, the only one I know about is the Lancasters. Um, but essentially what happens is uh, a little civil war in England. So basically right now, if we were in Europe... Oh, it doesn't look like they're fighting. Normally what will happen is England will like break into two pieces, one for each side of that civil war, and then they'll fight it out, and then whoever wins just basically becomes England again. Well, it never really shows up on the map. I thought it did. That they broke. No, I, I've never seen it show up. Really? Like, I've seen the units there. For the two factions. Yeah. But it, it... Yeah, it's never shown up. Like, it'll be two rebel factions. Mm. Uh, I, no, actually, I think it's just one rebel faction. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think you are right. It is just one rebel faction. But if that rebel faction succeeds then England will be broken into two pieces. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I know I've seen the two separate nations. And Ireland got taken over. Man, Tumbes... And Scotland, you, too. Well, no, you Scotland's were asking there. for it. But they're getting smaller. I'm going to have some revolts on my hand. I'm just going to let them go. I'm tired of fighting them away. Because they just keep coming back. And I'm not spending 200 military tech just to keep doing this nonsense. Where's the revolt? Uh, I'm probably going to have two. Um, oh, there's one that's me? definitely going to happen in Tumbes. Uh, so I might as well move the troops there. But then there's another well, one can... that's... Lower autonomy too. Whole no, thing. I already I already changed the autonomy for these provinces, so they're locked in for another six years. Thirty years, probably. Yeah, Portuguese. There are a lot of mods for this game. Um, I tend to look at the ones that are the most popular of all time, or like the most popular in the past year or whatever. Um, you can go into like month and weeks, but then it starts to become like people that just put their mod out. Need more legitimacy. Yeah. Um, Guantanamo, I think royal marriages are probably the way to do that. If you can royal marry as many royal people as possible. Royal marriages actually damage your legitimacy, though. No, mine... It um... goes down by point... Uh, it goes down by two. Really? Yep. Well, prestige you can get as well. It'll up it. That's... That's odd, because I'm getting plus... Um... Like, more legitimacy for the number of royal marriages that I have. Oh. Oh, darn two. it. Well, to Didn't start to off, that. you lose the two legitimacy. So, whenever you say, hey, do you want a royal marry? It gives you negative two legitimacy right away. Should just start eating some of these countries. Oh, Portugal. Come on, man. You just have to get a few more 
tech. That's it. Yeah, each year it should pop up. These guys are killing me. Come on. Just revolt already. Oh, nice. Now I can see all of Europe. I didn't really notice that when I came over here the other time. Yep. Ah, I not can bad. see almost the whole world. I think for the most part, nothing's really happened. In, uh, well, Savoy got big. Austria is large. I guess not a whole lot of other stuff has really happened in the Empire. Doesn't appear to be that way, at least. Yep. Yeah. Ottomans are doing their thing. I think just we yeah, have just about the whole world. I mean, Sweden is a little bit up there. Can't see that. But... And Kara Kwanlu is still around. That's new. Most of the time, Ottomans just uh, chop it down till it's dead. What the hell happened to? Didn't get big. What happened to Denmark? All they have is Bornholm. But siege by rebels. Maybe they have stuff up north. I think they did, if I'm recalling correctly. Yeah, I think they did have one. But Just Sweden one. pretty much took them out of the picture. I have claims on. Oh! Oh! I forgot. And then Gotland popped out in one of their islands. Oh, poop. When, when, uh, when is my thing up? Oh, 10 years. Damn it. I, I took the wrong province. I took the wrong province. <laughs> How'd you end up doing that? Uh, because I was uh, getting claims on it. And uh, I was only getting claims on it because I had another mission to take some other province. And uh, I only took the one that I like fabricated on and, and not the one that I was actually supposed to take for my mission. And now I have 10 more years of truce with these guys. Yep. Yep. That happened. That, that happened. Uh, I can invest in new technology. Yay. I'm almost to my uh, force limit. Cap. Manpower, I mean. And I have one troop over my force limit. Portugal is so small. Yeah. Yeah, it, it tends to be that way. Just a little well, bit. Well, that's what happens when... <laughs> yeah, they weren't... still don't get along. Yeah, normally they do, though. Normally they do, but yeah, Castile got a little, a little uppity. I guess you could say. But they do have this little section Aragon down here in though. Africa. Yeah, he did. Aragon's not that small, though. Come on. Come on, Europe. Come to me. <laughs> that Laka's over here shaking in his little boots. Oh, come on. What the hell? Even Aragon has better tech than Portugal. Get your stuff together, Portugal. Yeah, but Portugal's been ravaged by war, man. Castile don't like them. They're having problems in their colonizing. Oh, give me a core on that. I'm going to have to sit here and do it from, uh, get this from Castile if I have to. France, well, so France is just as big as it usually is, though Provence popped out. Yeah. And I haven't gone for Brittany yet. Oh, and Avignon is owned by Provence. Interesting. I think that starts out with that starts out owned by the Pope, right? Or is that later that that happens? No, that is still part of uh, France. I think they lost a battle and had them um, come out, or they had rebels that popped them out. I see. Okay. Unf 
Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull my troops up. Are they allied to England? No, France is allied to Switzerland and Austria. That's going to that's going to hurt. Whoever they fight against. But Portugal and England are uh, together, which is good. I don't, I don't know if it really, I mean, England doesn't look like they've really done a whole lot, to be honest. I guess they're working on, you know, getting the rest of the British Isles, but they're not colonizing and I don't know. It seems really weird. They seem like they're probably a little bit on the weaker side. I yeah. think if I think if Castile really wanted to go to war, they would probably have no problem. They're also allied with Savoy. Savoy, judging from the territory they have, probably has a decent army. So I guess Castile could probably attack Portugal, take it, deal with Aragon. I, I mean, I I don't I don't really see an upside for Portugal in that fight. Man, but I deadlock, I think you're gonna be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. I didn't know I could build uh, like ten more ships. Nice. Let's pull that up. Pull these guys over. How much longer do they have? Puerto Rico, St. Thomas. This is going to be weird when we say hoarding America now, and at least two of the three of us are no longer hordes. <laughs> just, just thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, we, we did our due diligence. I don't know, I'm just particularly happy because, uh, you know, we don't have to be at constant war now, you know, for fear of revolts. Yeah. That's going to be nice. Ugh. Now you're getting 63 per year. How are you getting that? Tech group, you're getting 25 from tech. N A, what are they? What is Portugal doing way up here? Oh, they must be going and uh yeah, take the territory, especially the creek. Creek. Portugal's just sitting up here in Illinois. What? Well, they've got their one dude with five troops just walking around uh, the Midwest and... Oh, mid, they, uh, they have mid. a conquistador. Yeah. Oh, okay. Should have thought about that before I proclaimed what. Like, how, how could it be? Oh, come on, military tech. We got some regimental camps. Uh, in real life, Portugal and Engl England have been the longest standing alliance in the world since 1386. Wow. Thank you for bringing that to our attention, O oh Portuguese. See, anybody watching this is immediately going to be educated. And I appreciate that. We're bringing yeah. some substantive value to our video. I don't know what the hell happened to that right alliance. Now, no, North Korea and South Korea are not the, the whole uh, longest... Oh, uh, actual war. That'd be the Hundred Years War. Indeed. Hey, but give them like what? Oh, not even 50. Like what, 40 more years? Give them 40 more years and, and you know, there you go. Done. Yeah. I don't know. It might, it might happen. One does not know these things. 
Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, it, it kind of is a turn Link just an into a interesting city. world world predicament. Turn Linka into a city. You're going to war with Chata. Pony. Uh, okay. Wait, where are you colonizing? Oh, down there. Okay. Filling in the gaps. I don't know if going in with one troop was a good idea, but. Okay, so those guys popped off. <laughs> yeah. No. Damn you and your desire for local autonomy. At least it was only one province. It could have been three. It could have been three. So. Tears for her tears. What a crappy idea. It's so far away, I'm not going to do that. Deadlock says no! Yeah. I don't know. If you want to think about it, though, the, the best part about Deadlock's Perdickman, if you want to call it that, uh, is that in that war, he can only really lose one province. There's no way that those guys can get anywhere else. Oh, they got it. They got a Diplo. Can I? Can I do it? Oh, I'm overextended, and I'm probably going to be at war, so I can't. Deadlock does not joke. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. So Tumbes is going to be the next revolt. We'll let that pop off because psh, why not? Oh, okay. Wow, that's why he said no. Supply limit. I get it now. 25 supply limit here. That's pretty dang good. Deadlock, how large is your army? Because if you get, if you can get back over there uh, quick enough, you'll be able to take that colony back. Like easily. Six thousand. I mean it's probably better than the native troops. So if you could drop six the six K on that province, you'd probably be okay. Or like even next door and just walk it across. I'm going over there. Yeah, I, I think well, I guess you're a Muslim. Oh, That's still even it. better, but I can do it, guys. There we go. I've started. Nice. Very nice. I am back to zero. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, have fun westernizing. Fuck it. I had to lose stability, or I was gonna lose my uh, freaking westernizer. Westernization. That's annoying. It is annoying, but you can do it. It'll probably actually be best that you do it sooner rather than later, because I was noticing that uh, it took really long when we were doing it in China, and it has to do a lot with the amount of provinces that you have. I bet. How long is this thing going to take me? May 1540. Ten years. Yeah, see, that's nice. I, f I forget what it was in, um, I think it was like 15 years in our last playthrough. I can't remember. It was long ago. Long ago. 
Marajo. Or for you Americans, Marajo. Are you going to get Nicaragua? Alliance. Um, oh, yeah. How do I tell my stuff? I think I would hold off a little bit, Deadlock. Um, my country. Because uh, I have lots of little relations with everybody. But I'm going to start getting rid of those soon. So I will let you know. Man, I feel like my past decisions have been very poor. Like, I guaranteed Paradox fucked me. What was I thinking? <laughs> you guaranteed them? Yeah, well, I, I was trying to get, like, point, or, like a little bit of a point boost so that I could vassalize them. Uh, and then it gave me all this junk about distance between borders and this, that, and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Portuguese, for helping out. Actually, what? I guess this is Brazil, right? This would all end up being Brazil. It's hard when the map is like this. So we start getting into Argentina and whatnot down here. This is Chile. I know that. Right there. That's about all that I can say for sure. Oh, Venezuela is right here. Colombia. Uh, Panama. Little guys. But Brazil, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like right here, I think, right? Or like a heart shape. Not the fake heart shape, like the real heart shape. Like if you cut someone open and you looked at their heart, you just put it on the map, you'd get Brazil. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Guantanamo has got the Choctawian lands. Upgraded uh, one of them. Man, I just want to piss these guys off. So they Two. revolt. The oh, uh, the people in Tumbes. They're going to insult them. Chimuan, Chimuan rebels. Yeah, the spy stacks were just like, hey, what's up, guys? You guys fighting battle? I'm going to watch over here. Just uh, don't mind me. Moving along. I'll, uh, I'm going to get out of here. Get out of your way. <laughs> if you guys want some coffee, let me know. I love coffee. I'll, do the I'll take coffee. All right, you know what? I'm going to dissolve that alliance with you, Chimu, because you're a bunch of poop heads. I don't like you. And I will insult you in a second. After I start fabricating. Gotta fabricate first. Oh, uh, no. You should just take it off. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm gonna get to Trinidad. Ah, oh, what a beautiful province. Five so base production. One. Yeah. Yep. That is going to be super I'm going nice. For Barbados. I think since it's far enough away, I don't think it'll pop out anything. Barbados? Barbados you can, Slim. You can try, my friend. You can try. God, man, the Galapagos Islands suck. One, one, one. 
Why would I want to ha send a boat all the way down there? Or, like, have one built on this side? Just to have it uh, give me a bad territory. Hey, man, you can turn that into a great territory. <laughs> no, no. You can, you can discover evolution and stuff over there. It's great. Think about it. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye. You should get to the point where anyone else would like it. And you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Just do it.